What's up guys, this is John from John Kill 3D Gaming here, and I'm here to talk about the best, if not the best, Transformers game ever made to my to 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 me. I mean, I know that the War for Cybertron games and the Fall of Cybertron were really good games in themselves, and obviously they tried to make shitty adaptations of the Michael Bay films, but Transformers Devastation takes you back to why you loved Transformers from its beautifully done shell-shaded graphics to its epic campaign and I mean this campaign makes you feel like you're watching the original cartoon that would play on weekends and I used to watch the cartoon back in the early 2000s um, every voice actor has returned every voice is well done the story is very interesting here pinning obviously the Autobots Decepticons and wherever there's Megatron there's going to be problems but this story I don't know if this story is based off any of the Transformers stories, like from the comic books, movies, or the shows, but, you know, it's been a while since I've seen the shows, so I wouldn't be able to tell you. But Transformers Devastation, the way the cutscenes are well uh, put together, the cutscenes are very thematic. This is how a Transformers movie should be. Fuck the Michael Bay films. I don't know how many times I'm going to tell you, fuck them. If you can't do a good Transformers movie, make a great Transformers game. Now... The Transformer story takes place at whatever point in the timeline, and it's about the Proud Star, something that Megatron is using to obviously terraform the Earth, and he's trying to turn Earth into Cybertron, which is their home planet, because obviously the Autobots and the Decepticons are both trapped on Earth. They're battling for a weapon that can either A, save the planet, to destroy the planet and turn it into Cybertron, but with its own twist and turns to the Transformer story, you know, it gives any Transformers fan or even a newcomer reason to go in and learn about the Transformers world and the Transformers mythos. It's really a good story and, to me, the best Transformers story today. But the true highlight of Transformers Devastation is its high-octane combat system. Now. People don't like it when I use certain words to describe gameplay mechanics. People had an issue in Dead Rising 2's review when I said weapon morphing instead of weapon crafting. Look, it's the same fucking thing, and I'm going to call this high octane combat because it is high octane. It's very fast, very fluent, and your combat in free flow style, it's seamless, especially when swordplay and gunplay come, in, come into the factor. But there's three types of gameplay styles that you can master that are really well done and can be blended through your combat system. Which is, like I said, swordplay, gunplay, and the best one to me is vehicular combat. Now, as the battles go on, you can unleash super attacks which will transform you into your vehicle and transform you to do a special attack. Once you build up your power to a certain meter, you can unleash an ultimate success attack which will be tailored to the character you're playing as. Different characters like Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, um, later on in the game, Grimlock. All these different characters have different powers, different abilities, and different skills tailored to them. And throughout, sprawling throughout the level is different pickups and XP boosts to increase your strength, to increase your power. And different weapons can also help you win the day if you equipped the right weapons for the right situation because you will be dealing with flying enemies, ground enemies, uh, insector, how do I say them, insectoids, there's also insect decepticons, bug decepticons, you know, that type of shit right there. And every enemy is going to be coming at you with all they have, also depending on the difficulty you set. But it's worth going through and kicking their fucking asses to a pulp. Now, car combat, This I had to devote this section strictly to car combat. Car combat in most games, I hate them. I despise them. And if done wrong, they can ruin your experience. Only so few games can get this right, but they still don't get it to a degree that makes you feel like you're contributing. Transformers Devastation's car combat, fused with its normal combat, is holy motherfucking shit. I've never loved car combat as much as I do in this game. Especially one, yes, it's Transformers. This is the one thing they had to get right. You're a robot turning into a fucking vehicle. Now, the footage I used to show off this type of gameplay style was a boss battle with Megatron on this, I call them Decepticon highways. They're littered throughout the, um, the Transformers world. It's kind of like 
the world itself it's yes it's done by chapters but every chapter feels free roam like the level it's not completely open world free roam like gta and all that it's only free roam in the levels you're playing in which you can go find collectibles you can drive around to do certain uh challenges which require you to use your car or some to require you on foot but the car combat is never dull it's always exciting now now that i got that part out the way i want to talk about boss battles Boss battles in Transformers have never been as good as they are in this game. And it also depends on what difficulty you set the game to. Some enemies have different patterns, some enemies have unpredictable movements, and some do have predictable movements. I mean, there's no video game where you can't figure out an enemy's pattern. But the fact that you can get up on your enemy and beat the shit out of them with all your skill... It feels really good, and some people will say, It's repetitive nature! It's repetitive nature! Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, who gives a fuck? For a Transformers fan, this is what the combat was made for. It was made for a fan of the original great Transformers. Okay, the combat is smooth in speed in boss battles. You can slow down time in slow motion to try and predict your enemy's moves when you do a dodge. And then, and these enemies do not have an unfair life meter like most bosses do. Like, they try to make you go unpredictable odds. These enemies have a very decent amount of health equal to yours. It just all depends who is the better robot, who was the well-equipped Transformer. And basically, it also determines on how well you can fight your enemy because Megatron and Grimlock, not Grimlock, Devastator, and all these enemies down the line are pain in the fucking asses. Now, in the beginning, they're simple, but toward the end of the game, they turn into some real sons of bitches, okay? All I gotta say is, this is what makes Transformers great, especially in its upgrade system. This game has great Transformer customization for many of the Autobots you will unlocking. You know, you have Bumblebee, Sideswipe, Optimus, Grimlock, um, I forgot the other, the, the, there was another one, a couple different ones, I forgot their names, but you can equip different weapons, different guns, different launchers, you can also equip different power-ups to your character to make them stronger. You can also take the, the weapons you're using, level them up, synthesize different items to, one, to, to make new weapons, change different weapons, or upgrade your current weapons. So... You will always constantly be trying to upgrade your Autobot to make him extremely powerful, to make him the most powerful machine he can be. Uh, equipping different items can change how your character functions. You can buy, develop different items. Uh, I would say buy, but people would have an issue if I don't say develop. And also your statistics will increase with the currency in the game. Now, lab, you can develop different tech, buy different tech, and also new tech. For your weapons such as repair kits and different combat skills so the customization customization in this game in this game is increasingly well done and it gets better the more and more you play so overall what i feel about transformers uh devastation is i'm upset that i couldn't play this game immediately and i never got around to buying it because i was concerned that it was just a cash grab of a Transformers game. I don't like to listen to IGN or all those big time game reviews because they'll just say something just to get it out the way and get a game out because they've even given games that were pieces of shit high level reviews. So I was skeptic. This was free on PlayStation Plus. I picked it up. People have an issue when you review games late. Okay, well, I don't give a shit. It's what I do. This is the best of the best Transformers games ever i can't stress that enough if you haven't gotten it free for playstation plus you need to take advantage now and if you already own it hopefully i have convinced you to go into your goddamn collection of games take it out if you have it digitally downloaded or if you have it as a disc you better be going to fucking play this game because if not i will come to your house and i will cut your goddamn nuts off transformers devastation is the best transformers game to my day it's still like every other game is not perfect there's difficulty spikes that bring the game down in some areas but other than that the game is great the game is good the graphics are beautiful like i said overall it's a beautiful well put together transformers game i like it if you don't and if you don't like how i say it then i don't give a shit <laughs>